again, not used to farm. I mean, they're used to in. take objectives. Nigma's coming in to try and hold this. Weeha deny and a shackle follow. Uh, they're trying to play with the fierce axe. They're trying to push back Weeha. He's still looking for the target. Will find it. The Wind Ranger's going to be sent. Nice running away into the brambles. And now OG, they're just going to run straight forward over towards Weeha. They take him down. Saxa, he's falling low, but there's the safety as Topson comes out with the avalanche, holding back GH and mind control. Mibon's still trying to charge in onto GH. He's stunned in position by the Cursed Crown. Over towards Iron Man he goes. The toss from Topson finishes off another Iron Man. He's trapped inside his own cogs with Mibon. It's three dead on Nigma. Oh mind control. God. Not. Trying to run, but OG, they've got the numbers. <laughs> they'll overrun Mind Control as well as they'll play around with him, toss him a chili pepper, and take away yeah, so his is this life. this just sort of in your mind been, been outplay, or is it just the nature of the heroes that Nigma have? Have they got a draft that, that is going to be hard to, to sort of keep up with the pace in the first 20 minutes in, against a lineup like OG's? It's definitely tough. It's also just yeah. OG's, the, the speed that they're playing. A lot of teams, you might see them like back up, farm some stacks with the Sven. No, they know that they can just go and bring it, this to, to Nigma. And look at this Wind Ranger. Oh, just oh. dies every time she shows up. She's so fragile. Miracle was able to get in uh, and, and pop the, the Dark Willow at least. Okay. As Miracle using the, the, the Pro Strike to his own potential. Thompson, he's Dodges actually able to stun. the stun. Comes in with a two man avalanche. He's straight on the midst of the wall. Steps in with the epicenter. Iron Man's out. So is GH. So Again, Iron Man is sitting there thinking, like, damn, Kuro was right. These guys are these guys are insane with the run at you. Iron Man. Talking about the man, he's going to try to go in with a hook shot. Won't find anything except he's just going to jump in on the back lines. On to Weehaw. Weehaw goes down. Sep. He's going to step back as they go in with a stun onto mid one, but it's, there's just no damage. They cannot kill mid one. They could touch him with a stun. Topson, he's in. Oh, takes Jesus. out RMN. It's 35 to 12. 20k lead. The racks are taken away. It's the BKB morphling, but oh, OG's just going to run at them. Yeah, they're going to come out of the pit and they're just going to kill them straight up. Mid one in with a stun on two. Takes him out. We are RMN mind control. Hit the deck. As Seb and Saxon will play with the Rubik on the side. Miracle's popping the BKB as he has to run. OG's going to continue to chase. Miracle tries to turn and push them back with a stun. Turns into the Sven. Instantly dies. It's an ultra kill for Mib1. Oh, and he was caught holding the hot pepper as well as he dies. That's going to burn. He's going to feel that on the toilet. As this, this game's over. GG is called. Kim, what sort of saves are there? It's going to rely on this Venge to be at the side. Obviously, when they don't have the ults, that's when the weaknesses do come back online for Nigma. But Mind Control says, no, they don't. He's ready to try and fight this again. He's going to jump in onto Seb with the Burrow Strike. But Seb turns with the roar. Magic Missile's out. Mid one, he's going to go for the ultimate here as he starts to push back. Weeha lands the Lucent Beam. With the smoke, they might get the catch on the Mind Control. There's the setup. Lucent Beam coming out. He gets the stun up onto the high ground for he a second. He is there, but there's an ult coming in from Saxa. Yeah. The split is going to pull him back as Mind Control. Taken out. OG, seeing if they can chase anything more. GH does have stolen roar. At the moment, though, he spotted for a second, so they do want to try to get on top of me. As they find anyone soon. in these trees, they found We Are, but We Are's back behind the titular. There's maybe a buyback. Mind Control's back in action. No tail taking tower hits. He's going to come across with the burst strike, gets the turn on both Seb and Saxa. The ult comes out, the, the roar is there onto the Luna, but he already got the Eclipse out. Mind Control, he's back in though. Epi's available yet again as they cleared off three. They'll look over towards Thompson. The burst strike for Mind Control catches Thompson out. Saxa will be able to TP away. Let's see if they can burst him. They're going to try and burst him before he gets the chance to pop it. He needs to it's save. He's going to get it. The swap out's there. Mid one's going to be safe for now. Thompson, he's actually just able to kill off GH. Or maybe not. The stolen astral step won't save GH. GH still goes down. No tail. Turns with the stun on the mind control. Mind control is up to the high ground, but they Dead. have the reach. The pulse from Thompson gets the kill. Sends forth the remnant. Drags back Weeha. They've got the control as RMN will it's fall. The eclipse is out. Actually, RMN, is he going to live? He's still surviving. He's able to sneak out through the trees. Thompson's trying to hunt for him, but a blink they will see get him out. Ooh. The remnant doesn't quite grab onto Miracle. They'll get the Tempest double. Thompson's still trying to dive in deeper. They have got Roar from Seb. Big team fight still around the pit, even though most are still on oh. CD. They're waiting. Weeha. Yeah. Weeha's got to be out. He's going to get swapped in. Put the Remnant down just to sort of block off any backup. The silence comes out to Weeha. Stepping out to the side. Mid one. He's doing the damage. Barrow Strike comes in. Mid one's in trouble. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dies immediately there. Miracle in the double. Just destroy him. The damage out from the, the Arc Warden came so quickly. There was just no way to, to risk. Trying to catch him off guard when they're split off here. Uh, looks like they're sort of prepared though. There's mind control. He's already out in the trees. They'll, they'll find the real, real arc one. But Miracle, he's able to walk away. Overthrow nice pulls them back. Topsy does jump in. They're taking the wants. 
There's going to be the focus from Wii as he pops the Ravage, catches the three of them. Miracle. Doesn't quite finish on no Town. Mind Control committing the epicenter only onto the Venge Miracle's there. dying. A lot was used on the Vengeful Spirit, and you're right, this BKB, it doesn't save him. Thompson's got the physical damage with the Desolator build on the Void Spirit, and now OG, they can look for the cleanup. They're found to. Mind Control jumps away with the Power Strike. Sep tries to get the axes out. He's out with a TP. Anything to stop it? There isn't. So Mind Control will escape. But Mipbon and Seb, they're punching through it with that boosted attack speed from the Inner Beast. As we are, he's, he's walking up. up. No but Ravage still for damage. 70 seconds. There's still a lot of damage Thompson, that comes he's through. Thompson diving in. Thompson is straight up towards the fountain underneath the tier fours, pushing them back. As Thompson, is he really getting away with this? It's going to be the swap on GH. Oh, GH. GH. He's able to jump out with the stolen astral set. Miracle's now starting to push the back. A big nice part of the epicenter as Mind Control. He gets in, but mid one. BKB, Satanic. He turns. Mind Control's gone. Another hero dead without buyback. OG get the racks. They kill off two. GH is still trying to catch someone. He jumps mid forward. still strong. Thompson, he's going to go back in with a step. He's low on mana. Thompson's just going to TP out in front of them all. <laughs> oh, man. There's no tell. No tell. They find Weeha in the front. He's just going to walk up and start things. Thompson's going to jump over towards Iron Man. A four star will get Iron Man back to safety. And playing around with Weeha, and again, another swap. No tail gets Weeha Sox back to reach a mid one. Weeha, he's going to be saved by the Invis, but they have the dust. They've got the detection. Weeha's gone. I mean, look at this Elder Titan. He takes the 100% cleave That's talent. That's going to be the buyback coming out. Thompson, he's in with the grab. Oh, the GH mind control finds the burrow strike into the overgrowth. The lock, got the lock down. Jesus, Jesus pop. Thompson, will he live? He won't. They take down Thompson. Seb in with the roar. The Earth Sprinter comes out to Miracle and the Tempest double mid one. He's cleaning up the Arc Warden and his double as Miracle's out of the game. No buyback. Weeha chased back to the base, back to the fountain as OG cleaning up. Nigma just can't get the job done. They can't get the team fight together. They're too far behind. And Thompson knows he can play this risky super dive. He was probably going to do it anyway if he didn't have buyback. But in this one, he has buyback. So jumps in. They throw all the spells on him. He buys back. And they clean it up again. And they yeah. clean the game. Yep. I mean, this game a little closer between the two. But again, OG and again, Thompson. Tiny popping off. Uh, is it the hero pops off in a game one. And this game two, the Void Spirit. They just couldn't deal with it every single fight. Mipple will make sure he's got a rapier there for the scoreboard as this game's over in the series. It's it's done and dusted here. Really bad team fight yet. True, we, we saw true. it yesterday, right? We are talking about 3k gold lead and all of a sudden it was 9k off one team right. fight. Right, okay, here we go. This is a big pick. Yeah, this would certainly be a massive one as Ramsey's is definitely going down here in RTZ. Can't Martins really do much to well. save him. He's got to be careful, man. Yeah, certainly he does not have the song back up yet. It's, uh, it was a level one song at that. Combo here onto Matama Man. He turns around, starts laying into crit. I think crit is dead. Slowed down by the purge, but didn't really need when you're winning, which uh... And look at this. Evil Genius is like, okay, they just showed bottom lane, guys. Let's push out the top. Arteezy faking himself there. He's just gonna run through all of this, but crit it doesn't have quite the same options here. Trying to get into the side lane of the trees and blink away. Fly will just cold embrace and extend his life. It won't be for very long though. A blood rage Nisha is very scary, especially when he's caught that extra life, so he can kind of play fearlessly. GPK, got to be careful of the Basher here. There it goes. But the Rage is also running out. Crit with the toss back. They do have the Orchid there as well, but oh no, Ramses! He doesn't want to be in melee range. Fortunately, the Ensnare is there, tries to buy him a little bit of space, but he still goes down. Matumba Man does end up falling here, trading his life speed here. Hammer lands in an Ar Arteezy. GPK just kind of poking at them, trying to persuade Secret to back down. And doesn't look like they're going to. Oh, there's the jump forward to the Abyssal Blade. With the new coming out from Zion, they just quickly bring down this Ember Spirit who does not have buyback fly. Looks like he's going to be doing the same here. Couldn't even get off the Winter's Curse as he gets bumped around. Fortunately, he does have buyback. They're going to re-smoke up. They need a beautiful Winter's Curse here to be able to turn this team fight around. Four versus five. He's still smoked up, looking for his opening. Looks like he may play into the trees here. Nisha threatening to just run in as he does still have that Aegis. Tossed over onto the side. Matum oh no! Matumba Man lands into Arteezy and immediately starts going to work. And Arteezy got cold. The brace just dies to the magic damage. I, I oh, okay. That's Drum it. seems okay too, just for the move speed. Yeah. Relocate coming in, die. How's he gonna respond to this? Throws out the arena, throws out the spear, it whiffs, and he does go down, but he's caught all these heroes inside of the arena. The ice blast going down. Crit is not gonna be able to relocate RTZ out of here, but Ramses is here to create some distance. Does manage to get the pit of mouse to slow down these heroes, but GPK is out of mana. How did that happen? 
Looks like he committed a bit too much, and now Matub Manny's just gonna have a field day with this. Just keeps on running out heroes, keeps on hitting him with the Baron. Eventually, more kills will be had. This is they need to call on a miracle. They need to call somebody from the heavens down to be able to save them here. And maybe that's going to be Arteezy and Crit with Relocate. Or maybe not. Maybe they're just going to TP in and slowly walk in against Megas. That's weird. Okay. Uh, that's a 30-minute Megas. Even if Evil Genius is kill secret at this point in time, I'm not sure how hype I can get about it. They're going to try. Ancient Apparition gets shackled up, but Ramses, okay, Supernova right in front of their faces. Evil Geniuses, they're trying to go back in, but look at Zai, he's ready to pounce. Ready to spear away anybody who would dare to threaten Yapstor. Arteezy healing up a little bit. Crit does manage to get him back to the fountain, but Nisha is just standing strong through all of this. GPK stuck inside the arena right now. The Ice Blast does manage to land onto him. Dodges the spear with the slighted fist. That was pretty nifty. They're going to relocate back into this position here. They've already joined in. The BKB going off from Matuba Man into the range form. Looked like Arteezy can't actually get this kill, but what about Nisha. Nisha going to the back lines, quickly deals with the Rubik, catches him, stuck inside the Firestorm, gonna be taking a healthy amount of damage here with the Rocket coming in, he eats the cheese. Here comes the Meteor Hammer right on top of the Gyrocopter, bumped back by the Adaptive Strike as well. Nisha looking to be able to get out, no, no, he's gonna stick around, deal a little bit more damage, Yule Scepter up in the air, back into the pit he goes, still rooted up. Ancient Apparition, meanwhile, GPK, he just deals with him, okay, GPK immediately gonna be able to buy back, go for Nisha, Nisha, one versus four, trying to do what he can, eventually he will be done. He will dream of darkness forever. Arteezy on the front lines, gets speared away from Crit. Crit did have the tether back up, heals up Arteezy. Arteezy throws down the covering fire there with the ultimate. Matumba Man in his bear form. You can see he's trying to do what damage he can. Nisha, meanwhile, he went into a gyrocopter and started laying damage into the tier fours and flat cannoned everybody else. And Arteezy, apparently they didn't even need Nisha. They're able to deal with him just fine. Ice Blast caught inside the arena. Ramses is done. Die back for the two of them. And that means it's a GG.